Among the interparticle forces, dispersion is the weakest, but if enough dispersion forces are present, they can add up to be significant. Let's discuss dispersion forces here. In chemistry, dispersion forces can be called London dispersion forces, London forces, fleeting dipole interactions, or simply dispersion forces. They are the main type of interaction for atoms and nonpolar molecules. Imagine an atom with its electron cloud around a nucleus. The electrostatic potential map shows blue with low electron charge density and red high electron charge density. At any one instant, the electron cloud can be distorted. This is called polarizability, the tendency for an electron cloud to be distorted. This creates a temporary or instantaneous dipole. This is important because if another atom is nearby, the first can induce a temporary dipole on the second, and this interparticle interaction is called the dispersion force. Now consider nonpolar molecules like methane and butane. Both are nonpolar because of their symmetry, but if the electron cloud is distorted, a temporary dipole can occur. This can induce another temporary dipole on a nearby molecule. Notice how there are more dispersion forces between the butane molecules than the methane molecules. Because of butane's longer length and surface area, it will have more dispersion forces, thus stronger interactions between butane molecules compared to methane. Let's close with constitutional isomers 2-methylpropane and butane. They both have the same molecular formula, but are structured differently. Butane is unbranched. This means that all carbon atoms are joined in a line. 2-methylpropane is branched. All carbon atoms are not joined in one single line. Both are nonpolar, but imagine a temporary dipole. Again, because of butane's larger surface area, it will have more dispersion forces, thus stronger interactions.